so I don't want to miss the stuff on and there. Because there's a totem pole. Would be What's a totem thing. pole? Um, it's this thing where it's a symbol. It's so like people where there's nowhere who lives there and it's just like animals. And it goes really big. Is there anything else what you've been making? Um, hats. We've been making big massive carnival hats because um, we're doing Caribbean and we've made them all out of cardboard. What colour are they? Blue, red, green, orange, pink, whatever. They're all real bright colours. Like so have you done anything else what you've yeah. made? Um, we've made breastplates, we've made Indian headdresses. That was really fun. And the foundation I've made a big, I've got a big maple and they're doing maple dancing. Have you done any dances or yeah. singing or anything? Yeah, we've done real good songs. Um, what are the names to the songs? Um, one's like streaming, one's checking along with feathers, and the other one's circle around. Which one's your best song? Um, sad to say really. Um, Gotta be shaking along with feathers. We've been doing Lion Me One Go Home, Free Dove, and Nerd. Mixed songs put We've been doing um, uh, what do you call it? an improvisation. And um, which one's your favourite song out of all those? That? I think it's I Wish I'd Do Well. Mine's Earth Freedom. Because it's real good in the and we'll do harmonies. I feel like. Um, do you know the like you like the best, like do you like recorders the best or anything? Um, that's hard to say really. Oh, <laughs> I like doing um, what, we're, what we're doing, I like doing the big bit at the beginning where we all have to walk in and we yeah. all have all kind of relax and walk in. Are you kind of, kind of relax like um, in a cone shape or? Um, they're like they all have like a bit and then like they stick out or something or they go and they stick out like that and they're all decorated and they're all good. Have you made any hats in your um, Yeah, we made an Indian headdress which was hard because we had to get it all symmetrical and we had, we had to use a lot of glue and it was real messy when you had to use the feathers and you got glue on your hands. What was your best thing? What you've been doing in that, right, in, in the, for the performance? Um, it's got to be doing our Indian address. Why are you making um, a performance about it? Um, because we think it's really important when we get all well, the like three cultures together. The best thing I liked about being school counsellors is working with Alan Rock. Yeah. Do you like him working with Alan Raw? Yes. yes. And he's learnt as how to interview people. So what? I like it when you can hear what everyone thinks of what they've been doing and mm. like why people like their things. See you next time. Bye for now. Bye. Bye. <laughs> I'm recording it. Hi. Hello, Ellen. Hello. Uh, Can you pause it? And this is the Welcome to Sutton Park Primary School and this is where we're going to do a performance. It is called Around the World in 80 Minutes. People are making exciting things like turtle poles. All the children have been learning new dances and songs and playing the recording. We've been looking at different countries um, this term. That's Is there anything waiting for the Grand World to make a performance? Uh, we haven't done any of our singing practices today, but tomorrow morning we'll be doing some practices um, in the small hall. Matthew, why have you got your shoes on? Shoes, is it? Well, we're hoping it's going to be um, a really brilliant performance. We're doing some maple dancing and some singing, we've got quite a few different songs. We've also got a king and queen which you'll be able to spot on the day of the performance.
Uh, year one, year two, my next class, we're doing all about Spain. Um, I think the best thing about performance is when the children um, sing Spanish songs and they've also learned their numbers as well to ten, their Spanish numbers. Una, dos, tres, una, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, cuatro, cinco, seis, siete, ocho, nueve, siete, ocho, nueve, diez, 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 diez. Um, I think, best of all, I just like the language because it sounds so nice, the Spanish language. What do you like about the performance? That when we do some songs and things, when we all, when we all like, do our dancing and things. Um, I like the language. I like it. When we show to the mums and dads. When the Spanish ladies dance with their pretty dresses on. Uno, dos, tres. Uno, dos, tres. Crunch your wrinkles, yes. Stop it! God's sake! Uno, dos, tres. Oh, for God's sake! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Please, please. Well, we've been focusing mainly on our record player, but we've been learning a song, and we've been doing that in three parts. And we've done three tunes on our record player. What is your personal favourite thing? One of the tunes we're doing on the record is kind of like a jazzy number, and that's quite nice, it's got a good rhythm to it. And I like that as well because the children do some improvising. What do you still have to do before the performance? Oh, well, the song that we're doing in three parts, we're hoping to be able to do it, do the recorder in three parts as well. So we're still learning that bit. We've got a few little things to start out with, um, the costumes and things as well, but mainly it's whether we can transform this song into a three part song with our recorders as well as our singing, which is a bit of a challenge. What have you learned? Ooh, well, I've become a better recorder player. I've learned the children are quicker at picking it up than me. So if I forget, the children help me out. <laughs> so I suppose I've learned that we're all still learning. You know the performance that you're doing? What's the best thing? Um, I'm a recorder. You're a recorder? I always play it. Alright. So. We've done lots of practicing together and I think it's just really fun. And why do you think that is fun? Because every day I get better and better at the recorders. That was really good. Well done. Um, Alan, yeah. we've got the tours we're playing for now, but I think... So you'll be able to film them? Just, you really got the go. Nadine, I got it, I got it. Did you get it? Oops, oops. Yeah,
a politician. I made it my life's ambition. Choose all my bravery to do away with slavery. And my ideas were rejected. I said no one should be a slave. And live like they in the grave. I was assaulted and threatened me. When I said all men should be free. After 20 years the cost was won. They were free to walk in the sun. They were free to walk in the sun. They were free to walk in the sun. Tilting. You're supposed to be tilting down to him. Start again. I won't. He's supposed to talk, isn't he? This is year five, and there have been making Greek pots and Greek masks. And in the performance, Stop. they're going. Perseus on the Gorgon's head. What part of Perseus and Gorgon's head do you like? When, the, uh, when Perseus chops off Medusa's head. Because it's funny. And you have a version. Because I like the, thing, the people that they build. The processing people? Yeah. Just a minute, stop filming. The masks, when they're finished, uh, the masks we were making at the moment is for the Medusa character. But we're maybe making some other masks. Uh, in our play, Kerry Baxter will be the Medusa. And she'll be wearing the mask that we're going to make. She, hopefully she looked very scary. I've uh, been working with Posse and making Posse models for animations in the performance. Uh, sure enough, we're showing our Greek pops and the and maths and then we're going to do a play. Right, the order of the performance is we'll be coming into some Greek music which will incorporate singing and play the music instruments. And then there will be a short overhead production going on about how we've made the pots and the masks. And then we'll just do a play. And then we'll show everybody our 3D animation that we've been doing at the CLC. Be making in like five weeks, trying to make to get into 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 an animation film of four different Greek myths. One is King Midas, one is Daedalus and Icarus, one is Theseus and the Minotaur, and Pandora's Box. Pandora's Box is about this girl called Pandora who opens the box and all of these, these magical things come out. Theseus and the Minotaur is about an Athenian prince who goes to kill the Minotaur, but like half man, half bull. Then also Nicarus is about uh, a, a craftsman called Daedalus, and he's got a nephew Icarus, and they're trapped on the island of Troy, and they have to fly away, and he has to make his own wings. And King Midas is about, uh, he give, King Midas gives this satay a breakfast, and he grants him one wish and he says, everything I touch turns to gold, and it does, and it turns things he shouldn't turn into gold. Uh, we're doing the Caribbean, I'm Caribbean dance and music. Lots of stuff to do, mate. Right, in year six, uh, we're doing Caribbean plants. There's some Caribbean music. <laughs> Probably the cartwheels.
enjoy the breakfast. Yeah. Why? Because I like singing all the songs and playing the recorder. What's your favourite family performance? Zion. Why? I, that's, I can sing that the best. Do you like play the recorder? Yeah. Why do you like play? So actually. What costumes are you wearing? A carnival hat. What is your carnival hat like? It is round. <laughs> So I rang up this afternoon, this morning. And a special yeah. place was kept for you. No, yeah. Yes, okay. <laughs> it was. It was really good. You're all very talented. I like the Yeah. I'm having the ball out. It was really, really good. Uh, I thought there was lots and lots of it. I thought you all went really, really hard. Really impressed with everything that you did. Thank you. You're welcome. Looking at every single one, it was hard to differentiate between all of them. But there was all like, standing in the room where I sat there tapping the floor. I enjoyed it that much. <laughs> Which bit made you laugh? The Greek. That was it. <laughs> and the, uh, William Wilberforce. Wow. Yeah, definitely. Thank you. Okay. What was the best part for you, Petius? Getting to kill Medusa and turning the evil king to stone. Was it fun doing that? Yeah. What was your comment? What was your comment about the performance? Everyone was excellent throughout the show. What was the funniest part of the play? Uh, all of it again. It was good. What was your comment about the performance? I thought all the children were really good. Really enjoyed the performance. It was great. I think everyone's done really well. What was the funniest part about it? Uh, the Medusa one, the the uh, the Greek one, where the uh, I think the uh, the king speaking. Yeah, you yeah, found very funny. Enjoyed that. Yeah, there was a lot of a uh, lot of singing, dancing, and everything. It was very very good. So it was a superb performance all week. The children performed immaculately. The singing and the recorder playing and the dancing has been superb. But all the year groups were superb, so I wouldn't pick one out in particular. They were all brilliant. The singing was great. The intonation and the tuning was absolutely amazing for children of these age groups. It was magic. Every child was magic. They can all play their instruments, and um, they all are very enthusiastic. It was great. 
The funniest part was definitely um, the interaction between the TV and the actors and actresses that were on the stage. It's very, very funny, especially the leading man, is it Perseus, is that his name? He was wonderful. There were a lot of funny bits in it, and the kids were just magic. They were just um, the enthusiasm and they were, the way they was dancing and everything. They all wanted to be there, and that was they great. Enjoyed it. They all enjoyed what they were doing, that was great. I thought the performance was absolutely amazing. It's the best one I've ever seen and I thought all the children in all the year groups did exceptionally well. Exceptionally well. Which was your best year? The best year group I really couldn't choose because they were all superb and I've enjoyed it and I'm sad that it's over. I was extremely excited. I've never seen anything like it in my life. It was amazing. My comment about the performance is that I have never seen such a huge group of fantastic children who are so creative and so imaginative, so exciting and so brave. I think the best year um, was the Caribbean year. D6. Yeah. And I liked the foundation year. Yeah, I did. I think it was just, it was very emotional actually. I nearly cried at the end because the singing was so beautiful. But I think it was really good to see everyone just enjoying themselves and really proud of what they'd done. I think it's really hard to say because every year was great in different ways. But I did like the um, Greek year. Was that year four? Five? Was that year five? Yeah, I like that one the best. Hi. What was your comment about the player? It was good. <laughs> Um, it was excellent. What was your best year? I'd have to say, uh, Fav. Why did you choose you, Fav? Because she got a real cool story. <laughs> the dancers. The singers. <laughs> <laughs> Is it hard work getting onto the stage and saying all your parts? <laughs> no, <laughs> no, not really. Quite good. Quite a lot of time. How much practice have you put in? Yeah, about a couple of days. About <laughs> <laughs> a couple of like, weeks. Did you like recorder playing? Yeah, I don't like it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Did you put a lot of effort in making hats? Yeah. yeah, a lot of it. Yeah. Ended up rubbish. You're in. Oh, yeah. oh. And I'm doing this for. Oh, Johnny. Johnny. Do you want to be Johnny. Johnny. Oh, what? Are you ready? Yeah. What was your comment about the performance? Um, it was great. What did you like the best? Making the hats. The beginning of the hours. In the six. Did, did you like the recorder playing? Yeah. It was very, very good, very emotional, and showed lots and lots of talent throughout the full school. It was brilliant to watch. I had tears in my eyes all the time. <laughs> How was it? Absolutely brilliant. I really enjoyed it. What did you like the most about it? The whole thing. I can't pick anything out between them. It was lovely watching the little ones and the older ones with their maturity. Absolutely brilliant show. What did you enjoy the most? Um, most of it. I liked all the costumes and that I could see the grand stuff. And it brought back memories from now I was at school. It was really good. Because man used to go to World Road and they used to put on a real good performance. So uh, it was really nice, yeah. What was your favourite part? I liked the, the Indian one. All of, all of it was good. All of it, you know, somebody took a lot of time to do the um, costumes. It took you all a lot of time, hasn't it? My grandson's been singing songs for weeks, so yeah, it was really nice. I really enjoyed today. I really enjoyed it. I thought it was fantastic. Did you like the music what you did to join in with all their music? Yeah, yeah. It was being a challenge, but it's, everybody pulled it off really well. What did you like best to win? That's a really hard question to answer because there were lots of elements in there that were absolutely brilliant. I really enjoyed today. What was your favourite part? I think my favourite part was the end when everybody came together and sang together. The whole school came together. It was brilliant. The whole concert was like a build-up to that, really. Did you like the song, What We Did at the End? I think that's a brilliant song, don't you? Great song to sing together. Yeah. Did you enjoy the place there? 
The performance this afternoon was absolutely fantastic. I thought we had everybody in the school, whatever their ability, whatever their age, performing really, really well. Absolutely fantastic. And I know the audience were really thrilled with what, we've, what they saw this afternoon and what we put on. Did you like the pictures on the screen? I thought they really added to the performance. It gave, it gave um, an extra dimension, an extra um, bit of colour. Uh, and a, what I would call a context for, for the performances.